What is up my hunting brothers and sisters? Today we're going to take a look at my climbing system, my sticks and my platform that I use all last year in 2021 and plan on using in 2022 for saddle hunting in the deer woods. So stay tuned. we're going to go over my climbing sticks and platform setup for my saddle hunting efforts. Now, full disclosure, I do work in the hunting industry and I could take advantage of many discounts, but I've not. So everything you're gonna see here today, I have paid full price for. I've not used any discounts or any connections in the hunting industry. I did not get any of this stuff for free. Nobody's asked me to talk about any of these products or review any of these products. This isn't really a product review. It's a, this is the gear that I use and how I get up in the tree. Now, also disclaimer, hunting from elevated heights and climbing to elevated heights is inherently dangerous. You take on the risk 100% on you. I'm not telling you how to climb. I'm not advising you how to climb. I'm telling you how I climb. You climb at your own risk. I have no responsibility in your safety and how you climb. Okay, we're all on the same page. Everybody signed the waiver. Good. Okay, let's start with my platform. Uh, I've been using the Tethered Predator platform for the past two years. This, I believe, is their Gen 2. They've now come out with a Gen 3 that's got uh, more texture, I think, on the front and on the top for added uh, gripping. But this is their platform. Um, it's their strap. I've tried different strap systems. Believe it or not, I actually kind of like their buckle strap, which goes against everything I'm gonna tell you about sticks. Uh, I wrap it up. Uh, I did uh, take and put some stealth material on the buckle so it doesn't clang. So I've ne really never had an issue there. Uh, when you get these, they come silver. I painted this one myself just using ultra fat flat paints. You go to Walmart or Menards or Lowe's or wherever and and get you some uh, flat uh, spray paints and khakis and greens and blacks. I did some sponge. Not that it matters. Um, I do think probably it does in the silver, but you don't have to camo it. I just did because I'm a hunter and we're crazy about camo. So anyways, pretty simple. Uh, I did take some paracord and wrap around this member right here so that when it folds up, if I would slam it hard or whatever, uh, it doesn't make a loud clank. There was a little bit of noise there, but honestly, I've never had it be an issue. It was one of those things when I got it, I did it, and it's been on there since. Um, overall, yeah, I, I like the setup. Um, it's got this adjusting uh, knob here or screw so you can adjust the angle of the platform to get it either level or I actually like it a little under level. Uh, depending on the, the tree size, you can do that. Um, I will tell you that I had a lot of problems in particular with this bolt up here. Um, I bent this bolt, believe it or not, too, but I replaced it with a grade eight. Uh, they tell me that they're grade eight that come in them. Uh, I did not appear to be grade eight to me because it did not have the marks on it. But this bolt up here, I've bent many times and they send it with a quarter inch bolt and it, it did not have grade eight markings on it. I guarantee it, uh, even though they claim that they are. Uh, so I actually drilled it out and went to a 5 16th bolt and used a grade 8 setup on it with a locking, or actually not with a locking nut, with a uh, nut with uh, some red Loctite on it. And I've not had any problems bending it since. So there is that. Again, your mileage may vary. A uh, little uh, paracord loop on the top that I just wrap around here so that when it's folded up, um, I can hang it on the back of my saddle uh, and climb the tree up and down. Uh, I use the black bracket here. One of the things I do need to do is I've heard that there is a little bit of squeak at times with the connection between this bracket and the tree. And things I'm hearing online is if you buff the paint off of this, that squeak will go away. So I do have to do that. But that's my platform. I like it. Is it the best out there? I don't know. I've never used anything else. But for me, it's adequate size for my size 11 boots. And it's light enough. I just like it to be honest. So I'm gonna set, set this aside. 
All right, my climbing sticks get up this tree. Now, I will tell you, this is not an affordable option, period. I had two different sets of hawk sticks. They are a fine, affordable option to get up a tree. They're convenient um, and all that, but I wanted something nicer with deeper standoffs. I know Tether just came out with their Skeletors, look like a really nice option. Kind of a similar feel and concept, but they've got the angling steps, a little more affordable. If affordability is what you're going after, go for something like those. Don't go for this. This set of sticks made by Eastern Woods Outdoors. These are their ultralight sticks. Um, basically, I did these in season as a build your own type of deal with them. You ordered the parts. I did not get the ones with the machined out cutouts in the, in the uh, vertical members here. The beauty I liked about Eastern Woods Outdoors is that you can customize the length of them. So I got the ones, most sticks you buy will be anywhere from 16 to 18 inches, a lot of 18 seems to be the step to step distance. There's others that go up to 24. For me, I'm 5'11 to six foot-ish. I'm getting older, so I'm shrinking actually, I guess. 20 inches seem to be ideal. 24 is too much, 22 I could do. 18 just felt like it was too short, so I went with 20. So these are 20 step to step. I have eighters on here I'll talk about, and these, three steps with the aiders I got, I can get to the top step if I don't stretch things out just shy of 17 feet, which I put my platform typically about that same level. If I went another 20 inches or so up to the platform, I'd be pushing um, 18 and a half feet, almost 19 feet. So that's pretty cool. high up there just in this setup right here. So I've stealth stripped these, obviously. I took a lot of time in doing that. I've hockey taped the standoffs. I did not buy their an anodized standoffs because at the time they didn't have them available. And honestly, once I hockey taped them for to be quiet, I really didn't care about the anodizing anyway. So uh, these are the sticks and I use the ult ultimators and rope mod. So I'm gonna undo these. You can see how they stack up here as far as height and stuff. When three of them are stacked, you're looking at a total laying here about eight and a half inches tall. Uh, overall, the furthest distance is around 26 inches in the whole stack. And I believe I weighed these at one time and these three with the eighters is right around six pounds or less. So uh, probably not the absolute lightest, but definitely not super heavy. And I really, again, like this, this setup. So I'm gonna take these apart. Um, when you, have these built by Eastern Woods Outdoors. You can get a lot of options. I didn't want any cam buckles or any of their um, uh, connecting. So because I had my own am steel ropes that I had made for connections. And so my top one holds the whole stack together. Basically the others I wrap around and have bungees on them. I'm just going to show one stick here for a second. Let's set these aside. All right, so this is basically, I believe, 5 16 am steel. Uh, it actually, I had a winch for my uh, UTV that used am steel, and I broke it due to some abrasion down by where the snow plow on the winch went. And so I had like 50 foot of this am steel sitting around, and it was perfectly good. So I made my own rope mods for them. Uh, so am steel, I really like it. I know others use Optiplex or Daisy Chains or whatever. I like this setup. Again, they're all stealth stripped. We got the hockey tape on the back. I like the really aggressive uh, teeth on the Eastern Woods and the, the large standoff gives me plenty of room. On the bottom stick, which this stick is my bottom stick based on the way that I stack everything. My bottom stick is always my first one off, so it's my top stick. I use the Ultimator. And uh, the Ultimator uh, is a pretty cool aider system uh, that gets me higher in the tree. And I use two steps on the bottom one, and I only use one step on the two, uh, the, the other two, because quite honestly, um, it's stable, but I don't really need to get much higher than 17, 16, 17, 18 feet anyway. And I just find I've tried running two up higher and I don't really like, I just don't feel secure. I mean, some people do and that's great, whatever. But again, for me, I don't. Um, so I'd use it 
the double steps at the bottom where if I would slip or something, I can only fall a couple feet, which at my age, I can break a hip, I guess. So anyways, uh, there are adjustable. I hockey tape up all the buckles. Um, I got the bottom steps on the Eastern Woods that are made for the straps, so they tuck in there very nicely and all that. So again, yes, this is the first stick. And the others are basically the same. Uh, the only difference I did is on the ends of the am steel. I put some little bungee loops in here and shrink wrapped them in so that I can keep everything tight to the button. So anyways, um, again, this is not the most affordable setup that's out there. Um, get this over and stop the dragging noise. You can see how nicely it's stacked. This setup right here with the ultimators and everything, um, I'm trying to recall exactly, and hopefully my wife doesn't watch this and know how much I paid, but uh, with the ultimators, and if you were to buy the Amsteel, which I already had, um, you're talking over $500 just right here in this setup. Again, it's not budget friendly. I don't worry about that, though, when I want a product that's quality made and uh, performs the way I do. So that's the setup. I'm going to take all this stuff and the platform and I'm going to go show you me climbing a tree with it. So stick tight. All right, so here we are. I'm going to show you me climbing a tree with my platform and my stick system that I've got. Again, these are the Eastern Wood Sticks Predator Platform. Uh, if you already checked out my video, I hope you did, on my saddle setup, that you know that I have these Kydex loops on my saddle. And I mentioned earlier about a paracord loop on my platform. It actually just hangs right back here on that Kydex loop. That'll stay there the whole time I climb and the whole way back down. It's easy to get to. My packs, or my uh, sticks pack super easy. Uh, again, with the, uh, the Am Steel, I just wrap it around and I just kind of make a bundle. Now we're gonna get up here and I'm gonna go fairly efficiently, but obviously you can go faster, you can go slower, whatever, uh, however works for you. Uh, when I do this, you can see there is the ultimator there. And I'm going to set these on the ground for right now just to get to... Uh, actually, no, I'm going to go ahead and attach these the way I would when I climb because we're just going to do this like we're climbing. So basically, these are my two other steps. Uh, and I've got an ultimator, one step on each one of those. And I'm going to hang one off of this Kydex loop. And I'm going to hang the other off of this Kydex loop right here. Okay? So there you go. So now I can climb essentially hands-free. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to undaisy chain my uh, uh, my uh, linesman and have that ready. So now that's ready for when I start climbing up this tree. Uh, this tree here is basketballish size, which is pretty much perfect. Uh, not the most aggressive bark, but not a slick bark either, so it should work pretty well. So when I get started, I typically throw this over my shoulder just when I get started, and Hopefully the light works out right here for everybody. But basically when I do this, I'm not going to stretch these out too far, but that's that's about where I like to be. Put this around. And I go do the under the other side approach. Under this side. And I typically go back over. And then... I can tie a little bit of a knot, just like that, okay? And that's how I do it. I pull out and I set that stick, just like that. So that's st set. Now, I obviously could go higher with this, um, but, you know, for just quick reference, what we're doing, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to take my first step, and the key to aiders is going deep into your foot, back underneath almost your heel, and take that toe and go square into the tree, okay? And then when I'm about this high right here, that's when I'm going to connect my linesman, lo linesman rope. And I always clip it so that the bale is out away from me. Just the way I like to do it, I think it's safer. You see, I got a, a, a paracord tender here, so it works good for adjusting that. Now, you can see, here I am. I'm up here, it's pretty decent, okay? 
Now, if I want to, I can step on up. And then we'll take this stick. Again, I get a little bit of a bungee. Hopefully the uh, wide panning camera is getting all of this. With my ultimator, single step, I set that ultimator, which I've got set at roughly 20 inches, somewhere around just above knee height. because it will settle just a little bit. Again, I do the under. And an under. I do an over. And then I tie it off. Pretty simply for safety reasons. And I make sure it's good and set. And I like to let a little bit of this out so I can make my step. And this one I did spread a little further than I'd normally like to. But again, get that underneath your heel. Come on up. Come on up again. Get things adjusted where you want them. Take your second stick. Undo it. Get your ultimator out, as you can see. This one here. Again, I'm gonna set it somewhere around kneecap or so height. Got me a little knot in the tree. I kinda gotta work around here, so I'm actually gonna go slightly under this knot. Get around here. Loop this off. And tie that off. Just right there. Make sure it's getting set. Now, this is typically where I stop and I attach my platform typically right about here because I like to go around the tree. So what I will do at this point, I like my platform and top step at roughly the same level. I've done videos on this. So I will take my platform off right here. And Toss this around the tree. And again, I've got I've got a knot here that's kind of in an inconvenient spot, to be honest, on this tree at this elevation. Whoops. And there's other there's products out there that kind of make this like you can kind of preset your stand a little bit. Um, based on the height you want it. I've tried them, I'm really not a big fan of it. There we go. Now, key to setting these, you want this platform up. I'm gonna tighten this down as much as possible. You want to pull down, and then you can torque that down. I actually like to leave it up, come up, Come up again. This little stick here in the way. And I like to set it and then fold it over. Now, at this point, I typically get out my tether while staying connected to my linesman belt. And get myself tethered in before I jump onto this platform. Get 
And here's where I'll get my bridge system out that I've kind of kept tucked into me the whole time up. Get myself out my typical loop that I go with, attach into my tether. Again, the bale I always keep up. You can screw that bale off there. You can shorten this up. And now you can step out onto this platform and you're tethered. You can at that point, if you want to adjust your tether, like for example, I like to get it oh, about nose height on me or so. You can get all that in. As you can see, everything is very secure. And at that point, you can take your linesman belt off, rope off. I'm just going to, for right now, clip it here. A lot of times I will re-daisy chain it when I'm up here just so it's out of the way. And then you can see we are now tethered completely off. I'm up here. I've been safe and tied off the entire time. Let's see how high we are. I actually have a laser tape measure here that I use for work. And just real quick at my height from my eyes, <coughs> excuse me, down. This is eye level. That is 20 feet, 11 inches. So 21 feet straight down to the ground is in my eyes. I am roughly six foot tall. So that means right now my platform is somewhere around uh, 15 feet or so. So I didn't stretch it out quite as far as I sometimes do. Let's see how high the platform is. And let's see, there's a, there's a hold button on here. 16 feet, 16 feet, two and 17, 30 seconds inches. So right now that platform is roughly 16 feet off of the ground. Pull myself back up. That's not what we normally do in these situations. So there you go. You can see, I know it's probably kind of hard to see on the camera down there. So I did bring my 360 camera. So we can, you guys can see basically the perspective that I have up here. So again, the platform is at roughly 16 feet off the ground. Uh, I can stretch this out and go higher um, and get 17, 18 feet uh, very easily. You can see, as I pass this around, what my view is from up here, show you down around the platform and the sticks. All the way down the tree, the sticks. So there you go. That's it. <coughs> so let's go back inside and let's wrap this video up. All right, so there you go, folks. That is my climbing and platform method that I used all of 2021. And for right now, I see me using this going into 2022 when it comes to saddle hunting. Yeah, that's it. It's a lot of money, but uh, I really like it. I like the security of it. I like the weight of it and the packability. And yeah, it's my money and my setup. So, you know, I just roll with it. If you want a quality setup, look into these types of products. The beauty is there are a ton of options out there in 2022 when it comes to getting up a tree. Check out all the other brands, do your homework, and buy what's right for you and your needs and your budget. As always, stay safe, God bless, and it's a new day in the outdoors.